Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. As you can see in front of me, there's a whole bunch of stuff already done. Um, unfortunately, I actually recorded halfway through an episode and found out that my microphone wasn't working um, after recording a whole bunch of it. So the dangers of me recording live and not having everything planned means that I kind of set all this stuff up already, um, which means today is going to be more of a, well, more of a show and tell really rather than um, me playing all that much, which is a bit unfortunate, but at least we did get some stuff going, or I have got some stuff going um, for some automation. So in front of us, we have our 10 Coke ovens that we've all set up. Uh, we've also got our two barrels here. Um, they are locked. You just have to shift right click with an open hand to, to lock those. Uh, on the back, we're starting to see these covers. Now, this pipe at the back, the tin item pipe runs all the way along. It does connect to lots of places which is a little bit annoying just for aesthetics um, but otherwise it's not too bad um, and it's got also these covers in the middle now with the screwdriver you can set these covers so just right click that's export conditional import conditional there's a bunch of conditional ones that you miss you need a machine um, what's it called a machine controller for um, export allow input import allow output what we really want though is just plain old import. So import is going to import the charcoal from here and that import is going to import from there because it always acts on the thing that it's attached to. So it's importing to the pipe, uh, not importing to there. And you can see it just sucked that charcoal out. These are the LV covers, so they only do one every 20 seconds. So um, pretty slow, but all we need for this. Um, these other ones, even though they're connecting, because there's no covers on them, they will just spit the, uh, spit the wood back out. Um, and this here, which I believe is set to, should be set to import as well. Import, yep. So that should import the wood, uh, the wood should travel out of there and end up in each of these, um, each of these blast furnaces. It is a little bit hinky because I think it's going around every 20 seconds and trying one of these pipes to connect. Um, so it's keeping... mostly stuff in there actually that's probably because it wants to keep full stacks in there um, and it's trying to put a full stack through uh, so once these get empty anyway it has filled all these from there uh, already uh, now this pipe in the front is a similar thing it's just a small wooden fluid pipe um, again we've got these covers but these covers are electric pumps as opposed to conveyors and they're just pumping up and over um, into the top of this tank, which we are holding some creosote oil in. So what we can do is if we want to test how this goes. So what I've been doing is putting the pipe over here and then grabbing our conveyor module, putting one on the bottom, one on the top, and then just going import and import, which is good. Um, use the wrench to break it and that'll throw that through there there we go and it will retain the covers the settings will be the same on those covers that they were before we can throw that across there and we should within 20 or so seconds start seeing some of the wood appear over here while we are waiting for that however we can grab another one of these actually we'll grab the pump this by itself Pump there and pump there. Now, where is my screwdriver? Screwdriver has import and import. Now we need the axe for this one. Tool tips a bit wrong, wooden pipe. And we can throw that in there. Grab the wooden pipe. And connect it through uh, and now I can connect this through over to this one as well so that is really slow with the way it's doing the wood it's potentially gotten a bit twisted up because of what I've been doing upstairs so um, it did fill these up we'll leave those for a second I'm gonna run back outside up to the top and show you what's going on up there super speedy not really So up here we have our 
Cargo Manager, this, the Steve's card has been stopped for a while because it was doing too good a job. Um, and so it's sitting, yeah, there it is through there. Um, so what we're going to do is I've tried to connect to this in a multiple of different ways and it is really not happy with, um, with what it was doing. So I was trying a few things off camera just before. So what we might do is each color has its own slots. No, just each side has its own slots is fine. Um, so some of the charcoal has come up here, but what I've made is an external distributor. We have used one of these before quite a long time ago, but if we throw that in there, it gives us a way to access. So the bottom side is purple. So what we want is the purple, we'll say it's the top right. So the purple is purple top right. And the yellow side will be top left. So that means this is the wood and this is the charcoal. So the yellow side we can input the charcoal to, which will be like that. Uh, and then we're going to suck some stuff from the bottom. So what we're going to need to do is grab... Actually, I think I might have one that's already got a... Yep, it's already got a cover on it. So we need the blue crowbar, not the Railcraft one. We need the Rig Tech one, and that can just take the covers off. And we can put that on top instead. Make sure we set it to import and we should be able to throw that under there. Cool. 930. Why is it showing 965 and 930? It's huh, it's showing double counts for some reason. Uh, but that's okay. We can throw that there and that there. Grab that back. And now with a bit of luck, there we go. It's starting to take that out. Oh, we need to put a filter or something on there. That might be the wood that was stuck from down the bottom. So let's just throw that back over there. Yeah, so we're gonna need some sort of item filter here. I've just realized that the wood that's exporting from down the bottom is gonna keep exporting up to here. Yeah, it's gonna keep doing that, unfortunately. Um, probably not too much of a problem if we Go like that. <laughs> and that should keep a bunch of charcoal in here. Um, this wood should now disappear down through to the bottom. So let's go through and have a look. We'll take the, it's gonna hurt. Oh, that's all right. It's a lot faster. Now I'm getting hungry. So let's grab garlic chicken. Awesome. So we still haven't got those other ones running yet. So we're going to need to figure out what's going on with that. So there's charcoal's clearly going up to the top, not a problem, but we've got a problem with our barrel potentially because this item pipe is just feeding it straight back in on itself. So if we just stop that from happening, So now we are going to need to have to change this from plain import to import but allow output. Which means that we import the wood but it is going to allow some wood to go in there if it needs to. So there we go, it's taken a stack out. Is it throwing it anywhere? Not yet. Oh, it's put some there. That's good. So it has has started to fill up some of these, 64, 64, 64. Hopefully we'll see some in one of these Coke ovens really shortly. 26 still there. One every 20 seconds is not terribly fast, unfortunately. Oh, and there's still five there. I wonder if that's coming from up the top. So the other way I thought of potentially doing it was to decouple these two things. So we can have the two barrels having one connection on the side for all of these and the charcoal and stuff and a connection on the other side going up and down from the top. In fact, that might actually be a better way of doing it. Uh, and then we can just have stuff going straight in. Yeah, we might do that. 
All right, I am going to cut this here for a bit. I will come back in a second. We will just figure this last little bit out. I might have to set these back a little bit. Yeah, maybe we'll put the pipes up one side as opposed to on the back or on the back for here, on the side for up the top. Anyway, I will be back here in just a moment once I've sorted this out. Alrighty, so I'm back and I have just hooked things up a little bit differently and it seems to be working better already. So we now have stuff going into these coke ovens and behind here this pipe is just going into the back of here we don't even need a, um don't even need a conveyor or anything on here because we're just pumping charcoal straight into there likewise on the other side the wood's just going to come straight into this barrel and we only need the cover to take the charcoal back out to the top uh, we will also be taking charcoal out of here for power or something at some point um, so we may yeah, I may need to change this around yet again um, in some special way. Maybe, yeah, maybe a second barrel taking stuff out of the bottom potentially. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't quite have enough pumps and conveyors to hook that last setup just yet. Although we can go like that. And then we just need one in there. In fact, we have we have two pumps, so we can at least hook up the creosote. Uh, so what do we want? Import, import, axe to chop it. Put that there. Grab where are they? Those there. One, two, three. Awesome. So yeah, you can see it's already put some of the wood in there. Nothing in the top there yet, I suspect. All right, we do have some wood. Yeah, so it should go in the top there any second now. Um, if we wanted to make this run a bit more efficiently, we could probably put covers, just regular covers on top of these to stop these pipes from connecting. Um, I mean, I did have two options with this. I could have laid it out like this, or I could have put these top five sort of over the back of these front five and that would have probably been easier for piping in terms of seeing what was going on um, but it certainly would have been spread out a bit more and I would have needed more pipes and a bigger distance between here um, here in my creosote tank which I'm starting to get quite a bit of creosote in already there we go the last one started up so let's go up the top now and make sure that everything's flowing up there As it becomes night time. Oh, it is very dark. I might just quickly. Chuck down the sleeping bag and sleep. All right, how are we going up here? Awesome. That's working just fine now. So we shouldn't get any more problems with wood coming up here because there's nothing exporting wood down the bottom, which means we can just collapse these back into ourselves. Um, what we might do as well is we'll go up and we'll throw that in there. Now I do want it to go the other way, so hopefully it's going that way. Looks like it is. Now, when you start one of these things after it's been stopped for a long time, what it's going to do is it's going to... It's going to cut all the leaves off. So we can help it. <laughs> help it just a little bit of the way here. So is that going to have enough power to cut everything down for seven? Yeah, it's going to have heaps by the looks of it. So we should see, yeah, there we go. It's starting to, I thought we've obviously had an enderman come through here. So there we go. It's starting to chop that down. Awesome. So that will now continue around, start throwing the wood back into this cargo manager at the top. 
we can potentially just make things a little bit nicer like that still getting the odd bit of charcoal coming up uh, and once this thing chops all this wood down well it is really taking a long time to do that myself stuck because of the way I've done these forests it's um quite hard to get back out all right now we should start seeing some of the trunks go down shortly maybe it might still be trying to chop down the bits that I have just cleared myself anyway six oh am. Yeah, it's got some jungle wood 24 25 awesome so it's doing something somewhere it's potentially doing them down the far end of this row yeah there we go because it sees these wooden bits so close to each other it sees them as one big connected tree so it's gonna it's gonna do it that way all right that's gonna take a while but you see what i mean that is now working throwing everything downstairs um, and we've got automated creosote and charcoal. Awesome. And with that, again, apologies for this episode being more of a show and tell. Like I said, I did actually record all of that stuff of me setting that up, um, but then only to find that my microphone had screwed up and uh, I didn't really want to do a voiceover afterwards. I don't really think those um, work that well. Not, in, not for the way that I play anyway. Um, so yeah, but that should be it for now and next time Yeah, what do we do next time next time probably some diesel generators or some other ways of using the power We might try and automate or get a bit of boiler potentially um, for this tank um, Just so that we can start to get Well get the power more automated so we don't have to spend so much time doing that and then we can start getting some processing happening Anyway, that is all for me as always. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time